What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. I haven't made one of these in a very long time, uh, mostly because the jailbreak community has slowed down a lot since there isn't an active jailbreak out right now. But I'm here to show you the next top 10 iOS 9 Cydia tweaks. These are compatible with the first iOS 9 jailbreak and will likely be, if there ever is, Another iOS 9 jailbreak likely be compatible with that. Now, if you guys are not jailbroken, uh, if you want a jailbreak, click there. Of course, uh, granted, you're on the right firmware, but there are some pretty awesome Cydia tweaks in this list and a uh, full list down there, a couple bonus ones in there as well. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So the very first one, gravitation. Now, this is something I've wanted back for so long. You know, in the beginning, and this is it, by the way, uh, back when I used to jailbreak in the early days, this would be something I'd show people. And there used to be videos on YouTube of magicians doing all kinds of weird things with the home screens. I think they're still up somewhere, but this was one of them to be able to shake your device and have all the icons go flying. Now, I think this is freaking awesome. Gravitation. Funny thing is while they're flying, uh, if they're in any other orientation, they will open up <laughs> like that. I don't know if that's intended or just a glitch, but you can also make them scatter in an exploding animation. So if you enable this one and activate it, you do need to set an activated gesture. You know, they'll fly apart. And the sad thing is you can't interact with them. I wish you could. That'd be cool to play around with them on the display, but gravitation, give this one a try. It is awesome. Proud to be a jailbreaker with this one. Now here's a relatively new one, also a very interesting concept. It's called snake bite. And if you 3D touch onto the edge of the display, granted you have a newer device, you have an option to quickly jump into, you know, preset apps or recently used, let's say settings and boom, just like that using this little animation. You can also go to the app switcher uh, down here, just like that. So really cool stuff. And this pretty much allows you to set your favorites, recent apps, how many apps you want listed on that little interface, whether you want a light or dark interface, and uh, just about it. So really cool stuff. You know, it's a really quick way to switch in between applications or go into the app switcher using the standard feature already found on uh, 6S devices. So cool stuff. Now here's an interesting replacement for your control center. It's called Usenide, Usenide, Uconide. I really don't know how to pronounce that, but it's control center replacement. I personally prefer Sang or uh, Lilac, but this one is awesome as well. So you have basically uh, this interface right here. It is compatible with CC settings. Nice touch. Uh, basically a very tiny lightweight control center that you can slide up, jump into your app switcher right here. Also works great. Slide down further and you have your media controls and airdrop. So it's very light. It works great. I have absolutely no complaints with this one. I really like how it looks as well. All right. So this one really makes me think twice about what I thought was possible. It is so cool. It's called Gram, and it gives you the ability to weigh conductive objects in your control center using this widget. Now, this is only compatible with 3D Touch devices, so it's about 19 grams, and I found that overall it's fairly accurate. The uh, object has to be conductive, though. So about 19 grams, very, very nice. Here's a lithium ion, it's a little bit lighter. Let's see uh, this one, 12, 10, 10.59 so you know within a couple grams it is pretty accurate don't use this for any dealing activities because it's not very accurate and unless uh, you're buying metal probably not conductive <laughs> I'm just kidding guys but pretty awesome idea for a city a tweak this one's still in its infancy but Fingal actually brings individual app icon theming animation so app icons can now do you know various animated things depending on which theme you install now this is just the one that comes with it but i see a lot of potential using this application so as you can see safari spins a little settings just flips back and forth there's a little check mark on reminders messages you know it's kind of interesting just to see but i feel like there's a lot of potential for this app if more developers work towards it and create individually themed icons can be really, really cool. In fact, I think this is something that iOS 10 will bring and uh, you might get a taste of it now. So here's one that's been updated with a new version, Snapper 2. This is one of my personal favorites for most useful Cydia tweaks. So you can enable it in several different ways and uh, pretty much take a snapshot image of something on your display and have it hover there while you multitask and do something else. Let me tell you where this can come in handy. Let's say uh, you're trying to copy something from a photo 
and put it in your phone book or type it down. Well, using this method, you can easily snapshot it, have it flow on your display, and then copy it to wherever you need it. And then from here, you can share it. So the share settings, save it to photos, or just delete it. And I think the interface is absolutely wonderful. This is something I wish Apple would include. It is so Apple-like, I love it. So definitely one of my favorite ones. So a tweak I've always wanted to show you, call bar. Pretty much it, it's a way for people to call you without totally interfering with what you're doing. I've had instances where I'm browsing or texting and you know how in iOS the entire screen lights up and takes you to the phone app right away. Well, this is a really nice way to not interfere with you but still let you know that someone is calling you. Let's say you answer the phone call and then you go in and do something. You can slide this up and have it up there and still use it, bring it down when you need it. Pretty much an unobtrusive way to answer and interact with phone calls. So if you guys use Phantom for Snapchat, I would definitely recommend you try Snap Plus for Snapchat. So it's basically a much better version of Phantom. I love Phantom. It was the very first one to do this. Uh, customized Snapchat, a lot of extra features, but this one has some extra features as well, such as custom filters. You guys can create, download, and add to the lineup. So for example, here's just a couple in a hotline bling, use this XO weekend. So just a couple you can add on top, including the Pangu one as well, this. So custom filters, it's a much lighter version of Phantom for Snapchat. So you can do everything you can do in Phantom, location, spoofing, photos and videos straight from here. Basically everything the Phantom could do, but lighter, faster, and better. All right, so last couple of tweaks, and I really like this one because it reminds me of the good old days back on iOS 5 and 6, and this is Vintage Switcher. It's a much better version of classic uh, App Switcher, whatever it's called. This one works a lot smoother, so basically uh, individually kill applications by sliding up on them in here or hold to clear all. But overall, bring back the look of the classic App Switcher absolutely for free using Vintage Switcher. And this one's actually pretty cool. So. Whenever you're using the keyboard, this is called Prism Board, and it gives you this awesome look and a ripple effect every time you type. So this is actually an older existing one, but it's updated version two, and it looks great. So it gives you a random color and a very nice effect whenever typing every single time and some nice ripples as well. And I think this is a very well-made one. Definitely download this one and try it out absolutely for free. So guys, those are the next top 10 iOS 9 city of tweaks, unfortunately. There's not much to show because there just haven't been many to show, but hopefully a new jailbreak very soon can change that. For everyone that's watching this and salivating at the thought of doing this to your device, well, hopefully you don't have long to wait, but thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to check out the last versions. A lot of good city of tweaks. Really, there's a lot of good stuff out there, and hopefully I can share more of these as more tweaks are developed. Have a great day, guys. Stay tuned for the jailbreak, hopefully. Peace.